Got rotating material pile. Okay. Yeah. Now, here's, uh, here's some more of the uh, weapons carrier. Parts all ready to go on. I haven't filmed that yet, but I will. I'll go in there and get that. That's an old railroad. Oh, a railroad uh, station car. Cart. Cart. Yeah. Hmm. It's a weapons carrier cart. Here's some more weapons carrier. Right, this is I did a little little grinding on this one, didn't I? Cut some pieces off as part of the windshield here. Yeah. Well, let's go film the weapons carrier. They've got this weapons carrier, which is made by Chrysler back during the war. And uh, when did you bring it home? Uh, we brought it home uh, September. Yeah, and uh, just they've really been going to town on it since September. This has been frame off and a lot of uh, metal fabbed up for the back of it, wasn't there? Rebuilt uh, the and the seats and boxes. Totally yeah. Everything's original except for this, this step bar or the uh -huh. step plate. Really? Uh, everything else here. Somebody built this? Yep. That's a remanufactured part. Wow. We put uh, locking hubs on it so that the front end would freewheel instead uh -huh. of being locked in all the time because oh, sure. we just did uh, bearings and seals and everything looked good inside. But wow. We saw we'd you know, give yeah. it some more life by... Yeah, this truck has just been totally gone through. They've just done everything on it. That engine's fresh. Danny Cockrum did the full motor rebuild. It's, yep. it's old school like that. So. Sure. That old flathead. And... Uh, we still got to put the spark plugs and all that in it. So you haven't fired it. That's an old Zenith carburetor. A Zenith. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Well, going around here and... Got all the gauges, don't you? The, yeah. Did it have the gauges in it? It did. Yeah, yeah. we've got the gauges. Uh, Terry, we didn't buy the military gauges because they're real proud of them. Mm -hmm. So Terry, no, Terry Signs painted the oh, sure. gauges OD green for us. Sure. The, uh, I mean, emergency brake and all that, we did get a, a new pad for them. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty cool. Yep. I mean, yeah, just the back of the tranny. Own. Sure. The Terry's penny, the one that... Then the penny and the little... Yeah, little somebody... Uh, nobody knows why. Wheat but, penny there. but there's a wheat penny stuck in the top end of this uh, tranny where it's the part of its shifter soul. goes in. Part of its yeah, history. part of its history and soul. That's right. We were saying that... Uh, you know what? Nobody knows. Maybe a soldier stuck that in there for luck. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope it worked. But <laughs> yeah, Terry's the one who did my, my rockabilly rat on my little truck too. And Teresa was telling me they sent in the numbers off this rig and got the correct stenciling kit to put the stars and all the military stencils on. You had to do an aftermarket gas tank. Uh huh. Uh, well, you don't want problems, you know, rusty old tank and. Yeah. No brand new tires. Some things they remake and some things they don't. Yeah. Well, the is uh, remanufacturing the box. Mm-hmm. This, uh, I'll uncover this for you. These are really cool. They got some accessories. All of the body mounts are wood. Oh, um, yeah. Um, under there, there are big blocks of wood. Hmm. And this is being done as a labor of love in well, honor of our World War II vets. Yeah, yeah, in honor of the World War II vets. Yep. Kind of a memorial. Boy, those are beautiful. That's a lot of that's a lot of real estate right there. Yep. <laughs> that's a lot of metal. Yeah, it is. Jerry it's... and Larry Wilhelmy did all the body work on these. Mm -hmm. and trust me, they uh, had a heck of a time. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, it's 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 metal. I mean, it ain't no. Oh, I know. It ain't I know. No uh, recycled beer cans. No.